Dan Daniel, Sonny Erickson. The new Ex Xperia Arc, our newest and latest, greatest Xperia phone. First thing you'll notice right away is a super bright display, 4.2 inch, so really large, really thin, really lightweight. I know you can't see in the video, but trust me. I, I picked it up before I came over. I was absolutely super amazed lightweight. how light it was. It is running, and I know everyone likes to see this, so I'm going to show you instead of tell you. It is running new Android 2.3. Fantastic. So it is also running the newest Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, 8255. Single core, not dual core. Single core. Okay. Most efficient Snapdragon currently on the market. Okay. So we'll go around the phone, then I'll show you so many things with the phone. So front of the phone, like I say, 4.2 light sensor up here, no front facing camera. That's what's here. Dedicated camera key. Your volume up and down, and your focus, your zoom on your camera. Excuse me. Charging port. Power. Mini HDMI, 3.5 headphone jack. As we go to the back, you have a set, and if you can see the different color, it kind yep. of is like gradient blue where it's coming through. It looks really cool because it is blue, it's not black. A lot of people look at it and go, it's black till you get in line and go, oh, it's blue. So, neat things here dedicated speaker for media for your music. Second microphone. So, we've got a second mic to make sure when you're doing video, you get good sound. LED flash, 8.1 megapixel camera with an X4R processor. That is the same processor we use on our Alpha cameras, our point and shoot cameras, all our other Sony parent product cameras. Gives you super great shooting in low light. It it's, was shooting some last night at the sports book and it was amazing how well it works in low light. Also, you see those two little letters, HD. It is 720 HD on the video. So, let's go back to the front here. Let me show you some other neat features. So. Five different home screens, pretty standard stuff. Neat feature we've added, and it's a Sony Ericsson feature. If I pinch in, you'll notice I now have every widget on my phone on all five pages in one screen. From what I've seen, we're the only one that, that does this. I've never seen this on anything else. So if I want to go to my music player, I hit my music player, it brings me to that window. So play my music, and we did away with I don't know if you can hear that, but for the dedicated speaker, very loud. So loud, we're going to stop it. <laughs> yeah, you, you were about to say you did away with... We did away with um, Mediascape. Which I was going to ask you about that. We okay. had the old Timescape and Mediascape, but we did away with that a little bit to make it a little slicker, more, a little more efficient, a little easier to use. Um, this, if you're familiar with Timescape and Mediascape, should look familiar with yep. the rotating pictures. And then the pane, which is also something we incorporated right. from Mediascape with your music, your, your pictures, and your videos. Sort of separated it out and put it in different pieces. All right, and, and also makes it easier for us to do upgrades to the software later. Oh, okay, guys, we don't have to build it into the system. It's not an overlay. It right. technically is an app. So you don't have to, it won't take us as long. We get everything out much faster and react a lot quicker, which is always cool. So the other thing you notice is I'm flipping through. These bottom four aren't moving. Right. So this is always my home screen to get me to all my apps that I've downloaded. And then you've got your regular home screen here where I've put all my shortcuts on that I use all the time. But this never changes no matter where I'm at. Okay. And these are for the most four commonly used shortcuts that I use. So no matter where I'm at, I so can always... So they're interchangeable once they're... they're they are, no, they're absolutely customizable. Oh, they are customizable? Okay, I can take that out, put anything I want in. Right, okay, good. So, but it's just so where, no matter where I'm at, if I want to go to message, I can click and go right to message. Right. Now, another neat thing about the messaging and the keyboard is you see the standard keyboard here. And when you go landscape, it's going to flip. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type a message. And one of the neat things for um, 2.3 is the cursor. So I don't pay attention when I type. I just kind of type and then I go back and have to fix it. And to get to a letter, you're usually hunting and packing and trying to hit it six or eight times to get it in the right place. With the cursor now, I can just take that and slide it to exactly where I want to go and do what I want to do. Great convenient feature for me. Yeah, no, I agree. So. Is uh, swipe come on the phone as well? Swipe does not, um, but you can get there's there's actually an app called Slidey Keyboard okay. that does swipe. It's like eight bucks. Okay. It's actually a great great keyboard. I've actually used it on my X10. So. Now, mentioned HDMI, mentioned HD video. I want to show you a demo here. Now, here's we're going to look at an HD video. <laughs> 
That is just emulating here what's there. Now this 720p capture or 1080p? It captures from the phone 720. Okay. But if I have like this was, let me let me turn this down a little bit. If you've got if you've got 1080p downloaded on there and if you got to play got it back, it'll mirror 1080p. Exactly. If okay. I've got a 1080p source on my phone and I believe this is, right. it will play back in 1080. And I know the video doesn't do it justice, but an amazing picture, and that's all playing through the phone. Right. Now, the other really cool thing about this with the HDMI cable is I came back all the way out and used my phone, my TV, to emulate my phone. Right. So, in, in my personal case, great for when I'm doing trainings, but another application would be older people with poor eyesight. They can actually browse the web from here, they can do the YouTube from here. Anything I can do here, I can do up here. You know, I can even, if I'm using and now that's going to play through my TV. Right. So, the other feature I want to talk about is, and we went back to the screen on the, the phone. Can I ask you real quick? Absolutely. Does the phone come with the uh, HDMI mini cable? Or you, you know, to take that's that going to depend on carrier? the market and the carrier and how they want it kitted. Okay. Absolutely, it's going to be an option for them, but that's their choice. Okay. Um, Go ahead, sorry to interrupt. Now, the, the, the other technology we use here that ties in with the TV is the Mobi, Mobile Bravi engine. So what that does, and you see how clear the, the screen is, here and how bright it is. It takes the screen, eliminates a lot of the color noise, makes the colors really vibrant with the color filter, but does it more efficiently than an AMOLED or Super AMOLED screen. So if you take this outside, you're not going to get washed out. It's going to be incredibly bright outside as well as indoors. It also does it, I'd say, more efficiently, which is going to give you longer battery life. And if you got a second, I'd like to show you something. The people who were really, really, really into this are going to appreciate this. And if I go to battery use, every time you go to battery use, the most thing being used on a screen is always display. Display is the bottom of my list. And I have this set at full brightness. So it does a phenomenal job on battery. It's definitely giving me a lot more battery life than I was getting off my X10. Um, you see there, my, my calls is what's using, and my Bluetooth, so I actually have two different Bluetooth devices. Right now, so. uh, absolutely incredible phone. And I will do anything you want. Ship me out Q1 globally. And then you'll see it roll out there. Price wise, we don't have carriers, we don't have. Them. Okay. All right, Dan, thanks. Right. Appreciate it. Anything else, Craig? Any no, questions? Great, great job, Dan. All right, sir. Thanks, Dan. All right, have a great day.